Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nikhil. And in this video, we are going to be looking at using keyboard triggers to interact with your prototypes made in Adobe XD or any other design program. So I designed this dashboard for a fintech company. Now I got inspiration to make this design from a dribble post. I'll try to link his profile or their profile in the description. But upon the top, we have the search bar and the different options for settings and uh, add a new client. On the left hand side, we have the navigation bar to go through the different workflows in the application. Upon the top, we have a quick overview of like the incoming and outgoing funds for all the different accounts of the company. We also have a chart to graphically represent all the fundings that we received. We have a list of recent fundings and down below we have the invoices that were billed to different companies. We can use keyboard triggers to basically speed up the navigation to different parts of the artboard or even different workflows. So keyboard triggers can be an addition to the already existing interactions within your mockups or you can use keyboard triggers as an alternative way to show the interactions without using a mouse. So in this artboard, if I want to switch to a pie chart or the bar graph, I can do that by pressing the P or the B keys resp respectively. And then I can even switch between the last month, the current month or this week's funding for both the pie charts and the bar graphs. So that's how I wired those up. And if I want to scroll down to invoices, I can simply press I that will take me or scroll the art pay artboard to the invoices. And then to go back on the top, I can simply press D for dashboard. You can map different keys or different combinations of keys and not just from your keyboard, but also if you have a gaming controller like from Xbox or PlayStation. With that being said, please hit the like button if you like this video, share it with your network so other people can benefit from this and consider subscribing to my channel as I have a lot of content planned for you. So let's get started. So I'm in Adobe XT and I have this artboard that I designed earlier. As per my design direction, I want the navigation bar and the menu bar on the top to fix its position when I'm scrolling. So I'm going to check this checkbox on the properties panel with, uh, with both of these groups selected. And if I zoom in, I have designed this bar chart or pie chart to show the graphical representation of the funding received. And I also did a video recently to show how you can design and prototype this bar chart or pie chart. I'll provide the link down in the description so you can see that video as well. The way I've arranged these layers in the layers panel is by using groups. So each of the layers or groups have their own layers and I've organized these layers nicely. So I know what layer goes where when I'm coming back to this design in the future. Let me show you how I arrange the funding details or the bar graph layer. So it's essentially a component which also includes all these filters like the last month, this month and this week and also the buttons for switching to pie charts or bar graphs. Along with the graph, uh, I also have the labels. So all of that is combined into a component but if I expand the component I see the pie chart, which is this icon, then the bar chart and the entire chart itself. And that is a component in itself. So it's like a component nested within another component. And if you want to learn more about designing nested components or using nested components in Adobe XD, I've done a separate video about that as well. You can leverage the power of nested components really well in your designs. I'm going to right click on the component since this is an instance of the component. I'm going to select edit main component. So anything or any wire that I create, I'm creating it in the 
main component or the master file so it gets propagated on all the instances i'll go to the prototype tab so with the default state selected for this component when i type a key on the keyboard i want to be able to see or change the filter to this week's funding or last month's funding so that the graph actually updates and shows me the respective funding details so what i'm going to do is with the default state selected i'm simply going to hit the plus icon over here to create a new interaction and then instead of selecting tap as a trigger i'm actually going to select keys and gamepad and you can see that adobe actually asks you to press a key to assign that particular key to this interaction so in this case if i want to basically switch the filter to this week's fundings i'm simply going to assign the key w to this interaction i want to select the type as auto animate and then i'm going to select this week you can switch the easing and duration to your liking so with the wire created to switch to this week's filter i'm also going to create one more interaction to switch to last month's filter and similarly it's going to be another key so for last month i'm going to assign the key l and choose the destination to last month i'm going to repeat this interaction or this steps for the other two states as well i think this is good for now for this component now coming to the larger component where i can switch between the pie chart view and the bar chart view what i want to do is assign the keys p for pie chart and b for bar chart to switch between both the states so like we did before i'm going to select keys and gamepad as the trigger and to move from pie chart to bar chart i'm going to select or assign the key b for bar chart and again i want this to be auto animating and that's how you can create an interaction using the keyboard since there's only two states i only need to create one interaction from each state coming back to the layers panel if you have multiple layers or groups of layers on the artboard and if you assign let's say for example the same key for two different interactions adobe actually gives priority to the layers starting from the last layer so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're assigning keys to different interactions the other thing is you may be working on like a game design in adobe xd and so you may have connected a controller to your computer when you actually present the prototype or when you play the prototype it's really important to have the same exact controller connected because adobe actually maps that particular controller and the keys on that to the different interactions so you cannot switch between different controllers it has to be that exact controller so those are the two things to keep in mind now there's one last step needed uh, for me to do here right now i'm actually viewing the top part of the dashboard so if i want to see the uh, invoices or really uh, if i had any more artboards for the different reports or like the account info and all of these uh, workflows i could assign different keys to link to different artboards but since i only have one artboard over here i'm going to show you how you can create one more interaction of scroll scrolling to different parts of the same artboard so with this top section or the nav nav bar selected i'm going to simply create one more interaction with the trigger being keys and gamepad i'm going to assign the key i for invoices you could use any key for that matter i can use control i so it's going to map that as well i can use any combination of control shift alt i all of those are going to be mapped for this interaction i only want to use i and i'm going to select the transition to scroll to a layer which is invoices so if you're using scrolling between the same artboard or scrolling within the same artboard it's really important to group your layers properly in the layers panel i'm going to give a y offset of minus 30 pixels so the scroll through does not actually land directly uh, right where the group begins 
it will stop 30 pixels below that let's say i press the i key and i'm viewing or i'm at the bottom of the artboard i want to go to the top with this section or group selected again i'm going to create one more interaction so it's really easy to set up keyboard interactions you can actually combine the keyboard interactions along with your normal wires i'm going to save the progress and i have this on screen keyboard to show you the interactions so with this window selected i'm going to press i to move down or scroll down to invoices and then press d to go back up to the top i can also press b to see the bar graphs and within the bar graph i can see the last month's bar graph um current month's funding bar graph and this week's funding as well i can switch to pie chart and again i can see last month's funding current month's funding and this week's funding so i can pretty much set up any key combinations for these interactions to sp either speed up the workflow or actually give the user one more way to interact with the prototype that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button and show some love and share it with your network so more people can benefit from this also consider subscribing as it actually gives me a lot of motivation to create a more content for you and if you'd like to see a specific tutorial uh, do let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching